Welcome back to JP Street and Performance, guys. So we're continuing our um, DIY CNC plasma table from JD's Garage. Today we're gonna to be working on the floating Z axis and assembling that. First thing you're going to do is you're going to put in your slider bearings. You're just going to use a vise. They go right in with a vise, square it up, and just compress it in until you feel it click into both little locking tabs. All right, you guys, so this is the assembly of the floating Z-axis we just finished today. Um, it's pretty sweet, actually. It's pretty a cool design. Um, but yeah, so I don't know why I was missing a couple bolts from my stainless spin, so I ended up going with different ones, but they work just as good. So um, but yeah, this thing moves smoothly throughout its range. So we got the, uh, the the switch working. We got a nice little over three mil. We're gonna start out with, and then we can adjust adjust these as needed. But yeah, there you guys go. Thanks. Welcome back, you guys. Today we're working on getting the X axis done and attaching the. Uh, floating z-axis to the x-axis so we can kind of get it all assembled together um, we, we did an, the uh, floating z-axis on a different video so we're gonna go ahead and get um, this main piece built with all the bearings and everything so stay tuned
have the x-axis, the floating z-axis. y-axis so this table is almost done we just finished up the belt pulleys and tensioners we got to get the y-axis motor and plate on still but thanks we're going to be working on getting our last motor mount plate in line set up so, we just got some measurements in the book we need to look at. I had to really clearance that bolt. This thing just barely fits in here. So. I'm gonna have to square all this up too. Make sure our belt is lined up. Check it out, guys. This is awesome. We got the belts. Um, Tension-wise, I'm guessing I can go about three quarters of the way. Um, so we have plenty of adjustment. So what I ended up doing is I used one of my three millimeter bolts. I had a bunch left over because um, I bought a big pack of them. So I use that to clamp down these little blocks. Keep this short. But, here's the top belt. Sorry, I had a phone call, so I wasn't able to record any of this. But, it goes on exactly like the bottom. But, lock this down. There's that. I don't have the casters locked. So... So, there we are, guys. Thanks for watching. Now, all that's left is the lovely wiring of everything.